Heather, how do you look like you both visit and protest a Planned Parenthood at the same time? <laughs> very fucking carefully, Luca, very carefully. Uh, you guys, uh, Luca's been... <laughs> Luke has been super excited uh, to roast me. He actually works here at Zany's, but unless they start an open mic, this is the only way he's getting on this fucking stage. <laughs> and, and speaking of because you're here, who's going to be back home calling your mom a fucking bitch for getting the wrong Gogurt flavor? Real good, uh, real thick shady. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Heather's got the haircut style of a lesbian McDonald's night shift manager. <laughs> and and you, could, you could tell by the way her bangs are styled, she will let you know that the ice cream machine's broken. At least I can get a fucking haircut. The only thing left on Luca's body to cut is his fucking wrists. I suggest uh, vertical horizontal is just a cry for help. Noted. Okay. Uh, Heather looks like if Honey Boo Boo grew up and got addicted to Percocets. At least I'd have some fucking Percocets. That'd be nice. Uh, that's really all... Interesting, though, coming from uh, old fucking uh, Lyle Menendez over here. Uh... Interesting. The thing is, is Luca actually does have a lot in common with the Menendez brothers. His parents uh, migrated here from Serbia, so that makes him a first generation of fucking disappointment. He's got a brother way hotter than he is, and now that he's bald, he waxes his nutsack because his dad likes the carpet to match the drapes. Uh, guys, Heather is on antidepressants. She's into horoscopes and anything that can remove her from any accountability. Shocker, I know. Uh, she blamed her recent dry spell due to Lexapro being on retrograde. Like I had a fucking dry spell. I think we can all agree the only time Luca's ever gonna get laid is when he's laid to rest. <laughs> so let's just get that one out of the way. The thing is though, is Luca is actually saving himself for marriage. Uh, he'll only dry hump his fleshlight until he can find a 24-inch wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys, uh, Heather is 46 years old and will do anything to retain her youth. Uh, just this summer, to feel like she was 20, uh, she got confused by having a brat summer with just guzzling down bratwurst. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, you walking pre-cum. I swear to God. Like, if pre-cum could talk, it would sound like Luca's voice. That's kind of like what is going on up here. Here's the thing with Luca, though. He is a bit of a romantic. Um, he's been chasing the same girl since third grade, which is wild because now that she's about to start fourth grade, she's got to do it in a whole different city. Whole different city! <laughs> All right. Uh, Heather looks like uh, if you ordered Billy Eilish off Timu. Hey, look at you, buddy. You're doing it. So cute. Last name's Long Car. Looks like he rides the fucking short bus, though. You know what I mean? Here's the thing about Luca. This is all uh, fun and games, but this is all coming from a 30-year-old car salesman who takes a fucking Uber to work. <laughs> Luca couldn't sell a ketamine-laced bottle of baby oil to P. Diddy if his life fucking depended on it. Why don't you stick with what you're good at, baby? Just keep selling yourself short. <laughs> Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Wow. Great work. Oh, my God. Man, that was awesome. You were like a zany art teacher up here. That was pretty cool. And you're dressed like her third grade student. What is going on with that shirt is wild. Wild decision fashion-wise. Joe, this what, was... did, what did you think of divorce court up here, man? Oh, jeez. I mean, I thought Luca was a gay church leader. Um, youth, youth church leader, I got to add. Trying way too hard to fit in. It was a good one. There was some really good barbs between the two of them. It was fucking back and forth. You know, Mimi from the Drew Carey show. I'm glad you're around still. Um, 
It was just, I do have to give it to uh, Heather. Heather just slightly, it was so close. Heather, one vote. Stephanie. Yeah, um, wow, that's crazy. Luca, you look like Charlie Brown, and, uh, <laughs> and then, then Heather looks like the teacher you never get to see, but she's always just blabbing her mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, that was a fun battle. I gotta agree, it was kind of like a little neck and neck. I feel like you guys both kind of um, were like evened out there. I, oh God, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna give it to Heather because you did have some um, good comebacks, and I really love your energy. But I, th I think I liked Luca's jokes just a little bit more. <laughs> just the content alone. I'm gonna give it to Luca, and uh, and I'm giving it to Robot. No. Oh yeah, Luca gets yeah. one. Yeah. Give it up for him. Comes down to the most stable no, 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 one on no, no, no. panel. I got scared. Uh -oh. <laughs> she was trying to tie big ass shoes over here. I'm like, God damn, Will Chamberlain over here. Here's the thing. No, it, this wasn't even close. Heather was blowing Luca ass out. <laughs> he was blowing. These are two of the most unfuckable comics in the scene. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who wants? Like, damn. If they don't got each other, who do they have? <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is bad. And here's the thing, women comics ain't funny, but Heather was like beating the shit out this motherfucker. She destroying his ass. Was it the sweater? Here's the thing. Heather was blowing his ass out. Luca came back. He had some good uh, comebacks. But then Heather came back with the comebacks. Once you come back with the comebacks, that's it. So I give it to Heather. Yeah. Heather wins it. Give it up for her. Hey, one talk of Luca, first time on the show.